Please stress the box girder. My Dustable provides also various type of the wizard for the pre-stressed box gather. As you can see, like the different type of the bridges, ILM, FCM, MSS, FSM, we can use this wizard. Like you can see the FCM bridge wizard. With the tendons, it will be automatically generated, and all those sequence will be there. In case of ILM bridge, and the uh, MSS or FSM bridge as well. So all those bridges can be automatically generated using the wizard. But if our bridge shape is not very typical, like if we have the multi-curve layout, in the case we cannot use the wizard. So surely you can use the own generation function, like the generating the beam, and then we can or we can import the AutoCAD DFX for the layout of the bridge. And then we can assign section, so on. So bridge wizard is one of the way for generating such bridge, but it's not only one way. After checking the global effect, you may want to also check the uh, local effect, like the transverse analysis, like whether my cantilever part will be okay or the stress concentration. Um, concentration in the junction, that can be verified using the transverse model wizard. So specify desired position of your bridge, and then such uh, separate model can be automatically generated. My will provides the various shape of the PSC section, pre-stress box section like this. But still, if you cannot find your desired shape of the section, you can go again to SPC for the general section generator. Uh, one of the reasons our users also like MyDasVer is because of the easy generation of the taper section. By specifying the small and largest part of the section and defining how they will be changed, whether it will be linear or the parabolic, then such uh, taper section can be very easily generated. And let's say if you have the taper section for such box gather, entering the reinforcement with the changes of the height will be very tedious, but using the uh, PSC wizard reinforcement function, we can simply specify the, the um, carbon concrete thickness, and then Riva will be automatically entered for such taper section. So it will be very easy for entering the Riva for the taper section. After entering the reinforcement, we can modify or we can define it again using the section manager and we can visually check it from here. For the longitudinal lever and shear lever, they can be entered. And the number of lever will be quite large and it can also make some changes in your section property. In that case, we can also consider the changes of the section property due to the reinforcement when we perform analysis. This is the old definition dialog box for the tendon. So still we can specify the tendon using the coordinate. And there is the function for the typical tendon when you are working with the preliminary analysis, it will be useful. And also we can import the FX file for the tendon generation. Moving nodes feature we already checked. 
as per the euro code. So when you are dealing with the euro code, our moving node analysis feature will help you a lot as it also provides the concurrent force. Also, when you are doing the design, temperature load needs to be considered, like the seasonal temperature and the temperature variation. Both of them can be simulated using my server, even the nonlinear variation, just like this table, which I taken from the URL code. Such nonlinear variation can be simulated for the beam element. How can do that? Using this beam section temperature function, we can specify desired height, like the topmost and uh, some dimension, like the H1, and how my temperature will be changed. This T1 and T2 value can be entered. The other part, same. From here to here, where is my, what is dimension from the top and the temperature. By clicking add for each of the parts, this nonlinear temperature variation can be considered in the analysis. Time-dependent material is the same that I already explained for the PC gather. And there is another useful function, time load, in case of the FCM bridge. Let's say you have two different peers which have exactly the same geometry, but due to some condition of the a field. You cannot make the same construction. You cannot start the construction at the same time. In this case, generation of the construction stage is very tedious, but by entering the certain days, the delayed time for a certain element, we can specify the same time, uh, same construction sequence, and then the Clip and shrinkage effect for the delayed parts can be also accurately considered. And bending moment for each of the construction states, which we already checked with the PC composite gather. And all those detailed results were able to check, like the the load effect, tandem primary and secondary. Same for the creep and shrinkage and summation value. So all those values can be separately verified. And you can see in the table format how each of the value has been obtained. In case of the ILM bridge, nose tip deflection will be one of the important factors you need to consider. Using the uh, history bridge stage step history graph, we can easily check the nose tip deflection by specifying desired node. And bridge order diagram, we can check the stress value easily. I will show you with the demonstration soon. And in case of the pre-stress bridge, section size is very large and it's not enough to check the stress at the top and bottom only. You want to see the stress, like the shear stress in the middle, the centroid position of the section, and some junction, you also want to check the stress. For that purpose, as you can see from here, all different position, which can be specified by the user. We can check the stress, like the axial stress, summation, like the normal stress, and then shear torsion stress can be verified. And tendon loss, tendon stress limit check based on the limit value that user will specify. And camber. In the same bridge, camber will be also a very important factor. This camber value can be obtained in the graph and table format. And then after you do the after you obtain the camber value. You may want to update your model and whether my final deformation will be zero. For the purpose, there is the function camber for construction stage. So camber value can be updated. And then you can see the final deformation results, whether it becomes zero or not. As the construction geometry is being changed and my time-dependent material is considered, the section property will be changed from the elastic state. 
So considering the age of the elements, their elastic modulus, creep, and shrinkage coefficient can be verified in the table format for each of the construction stage. And their section property can be verified for the last format in last stage in the table format. Finally, design. So we can perform design for such pre-stressed box gather as per the Euro code. The performing the design procedure will be same. Like such results can be obtained, and finally, you will have the similar detailed Excel format report, and also not only the main gather, but also you want to design the peer. For the peer, we can do the reinforcement concrete design that is also available in my test 7. So I want to show you briefly also for such uh, pre-stressed box gather. So we can generate the FCM region very easily using our wizard. So model bridge layout section tendon has been defined. Once I click OK with the construction sequence, it will be generated. So with the tendon layout, I want to check the construction sequence. So starting from the first construction stage, how the stage is going on. So such FCM bridge has been very easily, quickly generated. As I mentioned, this is just one way of generation of the uh, bridge. Uh, surely, just like uh, I have done for the PC composite bridge, we can use the each line element generation, and then we can make the such bridge as well. After generating such bridge, we want to check some related results. So let me open the model file that I pre-performed analysis for the exactly same model. For this model, so we can check all the forces with the different construction sequence. Just like this. As the stage is going on, we can check their forces. And for the tendon results, which must be quite interesting results. So we can check tendon coordinates, and we can check tendon elongation for the tendon elongation and the element elongation value. And also we can check the tendon rows. As I mentioned, it can be checked for the short-term rows and the long-term rows separately. And that can be also viewed in the graphical format. As the stage is going on, how their effective force is being changed, we can also verify from this animation view. And also for the camber value. We can obtain the camber value easily. Specify desired main gutter and key segment. After that, if we go to the camber graph, due to the summation loading, camber graph can be obtained as you can see from here. And also detailed value for the camber can be checked in the table format. 
just like this. So for example, for the node number 19, the camber value will be 4.6 millimeter. And then as the stage is going on, how their deformation is going to be changed up to the final stage, their deformation becoming zero. So not only the camber value itself, but also for monitoring, we can check how their deformation is going to be changes up to the final construction stage. So that camber value will be also very useful function. And as I mentioned, we provide the transverse model wizard. So we can specify the desired section position and specify the loading that we want to consider. Or if we want to consider the tendon or reinforcement, we can also consider them. So such section will be generated. So what I need to do is simply click Export. Once I do that, new model will be generated in the same folder that I just saved the previous model. So if I open the newly generated transverse model, this model has been generated. So using this model, we can consider the temperature gradient, temperature element temperature loading, and their cell fit. Also, we can perform the transverse moving load analysis in order to find the most critical lane position in the transverse direction. So this is the also useful function for such uh, local checking. Then. We want to perform design as per the euro code now for the pre-stress box girder. So let me open the model file that I pre-performed the design. In this model file, so we want to perform design. So performing design procedure is same. Firstly, first of all, we need to have the load combination for the concrete design and then go to the pre-stressed concrete and specify desired code, which will be the euro code and specify related partial factor. And then entering the design position that we want to check the results in the table format or entering the position that we want to check in the Excel format report. Specifying the serviceability load combination or the long-term short-term loading exposure class will be same. After that, after performing the design, we can verify their results as you can see from here. Also for the shear force. And also for the other forces, like the for each of the construction stage, their stress. Or at the end of the construction stage, in the service stage, the stress as well. So such results can be checked after that. It's same. We want to have a more detailed result. We want to verify, for example, this value, how it has been obtained, or for example, the resistance, how this resistance has been obtained, why it is NG. In the case, we can simply open the Excel format report, and we can see how their resistance has been calculated. So for the positive moment, negative moment, and the uh, resistance calculation, verification can be checked from this detailed format. 
So you must have your own tool, like the, you may use the Excel or you may use the different type of the design tool for such bridge. But using this MySQL from the scratch, like the, from the generation of the PIM elements, performing analysis, like the simple analysis or advanced analysis, and at the end, performing design. Everything will be available for you. Okay, so that's all for the webinar today. If you have any question, please leave your question in the questions board. Oh, there is one question, can parameters of the tendon, can be changed in multiple tendon at once? Um, it depends on the which data we need to modify. But uh, if like the material property, yes, we can modify them at once. But for the other type of data, we need to uh, define at the moment for each of the tendon profile. There is another question where we can make the lane load. So in the definition of the moving load, uh, not only the point load, but also lane loads can be defined from there. Uh, let me open the previous model. For example, for the Greenwich model, so because the lane has been entered, as you can see from here, or any other position, like not even the on the main gutter, but between the main gutter, even though there is no node, you can specify the lane, and the loading has been entered. There need uh, you do not need to consider any additional loading for this lane load. Using the cross beam, load will be automatically distributed to the connected main gutter. That's why when we define the line lane, we have defined the cross beam. So by specifying so, we can, we do not need to add additional nodes the lane load will be automatically distributed along with the cross beam. At the moment, uh, there is another question for the Singapore National Annex as part of Eurocode. At the moment, uh, we do not have the National Annex for Singapore, but I guess it will be, since the National Annex uh, we only have the British and Italia, and adding the national annex will not very huge work, so I guess it can be available in the near future. But as I mentioned, most important part is for the factors which could be changed depending on the national annex are already open. So even though there is no database for the natural NX, but uh, there will be no problem for you to use my server. The other question, how can we consider the, how can we perform design for the correct criteria? So in the, Section Manager. There is the option correct section for the main gutter. So once I click check on this option, then the only level will be considered and main this tag will be ignored in the property calculation. Uh, 
So this is the way how program can consider. So in the euro codes, we need to consider the correct section for the 15% of each negative moment region in one span. So for the case, we need to have a different section property for the negative moment region. And then in this dialog box, we can check on that correct section option for the corresponding section. By doing so, only the reinforcement will be considered in the deck. Mm, there is another question. How to check the additional stress in the different position? Not only the tense point that I showed you. For the purpose, my DASB provides the function stress point. Using this section manager stress point, we can specify not only this uh, determined position, but also we can add the additional point we can specify their coordinate from here and then for example just like just like this we can specify the desired position of the stress point in this case after performing analysis if we go to the beam detail analysis function and then select desired element in the stress. At the moment only four point is there but if you have additional point you can see the additional lines in here so additional point stress can be verified as well. There is another question whether we can do the analysis for the pre-stress bridge and the peer together. Yes, there is no problem in my DASV. So if you want, you can also make the peers at the bottom of this bridge and then we can also do the design separately for the PC composite together and the RC peers as well in the one model. So there is no limitation in the modeling or analysis or design in my DASV. Sorry, seven. Yes, so under the moving node, there is also British standard. So as per the two different British standards like PS54 and Z37, both are available in my DAS server. The other question, uh, in the construction stage analysis, do all the nodes need to be of the construction stage loads type? No, you don't have to. So only the loading you are you want to consider in the construction sequence needs to be considered in the construction stage analysis. If you do not define in the construction sequence, in that case, in the post CS after performing analysis, you can check the results of the the other loadings which are not defined in the construction stage. Uh, there is another question. If there is the uh, one bridge consists of the U gather and the box gather together, can I combine can I use both single lane and cross beam together? You can use the both lane together, but in that case, the moving node analysis will be separately performed for different lane. So you need to find the critical vehicle position for one lane and the other lane separately. Like the U got the part and the box got the part. You can define different type of the lane. 
like the one is for the cross beam type, the other one for the single beam type, and then critical vehicle position needs to be verified separately. Where can we see the transverse analysis results? Uh, transverse analysis results are very similar. So checking the forces or reactions are just the same. So there is no special function for the transverse model results checking. Uh, just we can use the just the force stress pim stress function so checking the beam diagram along with this member force due to the desired forces or combination. So checking the force just like this, or the moving load tracer for the transport moving load analysis. So defining the, uh, checking the results for the transverse model is not separated. Uh, using the, our general results function, you can use them. The other question, can we use our own type of the moving nodes? Yes. So in the moving node definition, not only the vehicle, standard vehicle, but also using the user defined vehicle type, you can specify your own type of the vehicle. Even the special vehicle using the permit load is available. So it's quite uh, flexible using the user defined type. You can specify your own value. If the shape of the vehicle meets your desired shape, or if we want to consider the special truck, it's more flexible type of the truck. So number of the X in one wheel can be specified differently. For each of the X, different value point load can be entered and different spacing for each of the X can be entered. So it's very flexible using such user defined uh, vehicle type. And the other question, transverse analysis is finite element analysis. It's up to you. Our transverse model wizard was using the PIM element. But if you need to use the finite element, yes, you can do that. So you can generate the model using the plate or solid element. There is also another function in MIDA server, which can automatically convert PIM elements into the plate or solid element for the MIDAS FEA, which is the advanced analysis tool. So beam element can be automatically converted into solid or plate as well. How to check the bridge vibration? Uh, bridge vibration can be verified using the time history analysis for the working load. So that is available. And if you are interested in, I can send you the detail, the tutorial for this. And the other question, can we support the seismic design? Uh, seismic analysis is available, but at the moment, design, uh, we, do, we do not support seismic design. So at the moment, just uh, no more design as per the H2 or American standard is available. Uh, 
uh, using pre-stress box together, can we provide the crossing lane for rails? For in the normal uh, structural analysis for the rail, uh, in case of the pre-stress box together, just a single lane analysis method is mo mostly used. So even whether it will be the rail bridge or the simple vehicle bridge. Can we check the frequencies for the different modes? Yes, after performing the eigenvalue analysis. So we provide the eigenvalue analysis for the subspace iteration, Lanchos or Litz vector. After performing this eigenvalue analysis, the, each mode can be checked just like other FEM softwares. So frequency, eigenvector, everything can be checked, including the modal participation factor, Can we model the transverse direction tendon? Uh, in the global model, no. So if you want to consider the transverse tendon in the transverse direction, um, you may need the separate model for the, like the transverse model. Or if you model the plate element for the deck, in the case by adding the dummy beam, you can enter it. But just to general 1D beam element in the transverse direction, tendon cannot be entered. Only the longitudinal tendon is supported. So how the load combination considered the favorable and unfavorable factor? As you can see from here, so favorable and unfavorable factors can be considered depending on this selection. So this effect can be specified as per the Euro code. Can you combine the wind load with other loads? Yes, we can do that. So wind load, we can consider them using the beam load or the pressure load. And then it can be combined with any other load type using the load combination. And MIDAS models more radius band of the alignment with the straight element. Is it calculated? Is it, is it calculate the dead loads correctly? As far as I know, yes, dead loads will be correctly calculated. But if you have uh, any problem, surely you can, uh, you can provide us more detailed model file to check more precisely. I guess I answered all the questions. So far, um, if you have any further question, uh, please send the email to e-support at midasit.com. e-support at midasit.com. After that, I will answer uh, for all of your questions via email. So I'd like to close our webinar today here. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and your time. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And if you have any further question, please don't hesitate to send us email, e-support at mydasit.com.